From California State University, San Bernardino, it's Local Matters. UCR Botanical Gardens and Coyote Produce Stand. Hello, I'm Yesenia Jimenez and welcome to Local Matters featuring stories from across the Inland Empire. And I'm Mateen Meschi. For six years, Cal State San Bernardino's Coyote Produce Stand has been providing students a fresh, healthy, and inexpensive alternative snack. Partnered with Thrive Health Promotion Services, the Coyote Produce Stand prides itself in growing its fruit organically and locally. Reporter Erica Lemuth tells us more. Running in its sixth year, Cal State San Bernardino's Coyote Produce Stand has been providing students a healthier snack alternative. It started from really an idea that um, came to us because many students at Cal State would like and want healthier foods on campus. So we wanted to start like a mini farmer's market type environment. So one of our staff members found that local farmer, his farm is in Redlands. His company name is Alejandro and Sons Incorporated. And we contacted him and next thing you know, we were able to bring him onto campus. The most important aspect of the Coyote Produce Stand is the fact that its fruit is both organically and locally grown. So no pesticides are used in the harvesting of his fruit. And we're helping the local businesses grow, especially the local farmers. And students seem to appreciate its freshness as well as its convenience. I think um, the benefit of it is uh, having something fresh and healthy. It's fresh fruit, especially since it's been like hot weather. And just it's kind of convenient going from class to class. Please, if you haven't seen our Coyote Produce Stand, come out this Thursday and check it out. It's only $3. You get a large uh, fruit bowl. And if you're in a hurry going to class, you can just swing by, pick up your fruit bowl, and take it to class. Fresh, locally grown, and easy on your wallet, the Coyote Produce Stand has become a convenient spot for students who are looking for a healthy snack on the go. For Local Matters, I'm Erica Lamuth. With more than 3,500 plant species, the UCR Botanical Gardens provides the campus and community with various benefits. Reporter Wendy Padron takes a stroll through the garden. From planting its first seed in 1954, the Botanical Gardens in Riverside has expanded 40 acres and has become the home of over 3,500 species of plants from all over the world. We have several gardens within the garden. We have geographic gardens such as trees of China, uh, South Africa, Australia, uh, Baja, Latin America. We also have gardens that are called plant family gardens. And then we have specialty gardens, such as our butterfly garden, our rose garden, our herb garden. So there are many gardens within the garden. The botanical gardens require much attention and care. However, it is not always that easy. It's a challenge. We have a very limited staff, uh, uh, and I utilize their work or their help. Uh, we also utilize the help of volunteers. Volunteers are very, very important to our process here. Staff and volunteers coming together make the scenery one of a kind. A wonderful place to bring your family. It's a wonderful place just to walk through when you need a break from the madness down in, um, in some of the more populated areas. If you want to enjoy a relaxing atmosphere in the great outdoors, the UCR Botanical Gardens is a great place to be. For Local Matters, I'm Wendy Padron. To keep updated on what Local Matters is doing, check out our Facebook and YouTube page. I'm a teen Meschi. And I'm Yesenia Jimenez. Join us next time for more local stories that matter.